Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and in this video, we are going to be talking about noise reduction. So I'm going to go through some of the experiments that I have done to decide whether you should put your noise reduction note at the beginning of your note tree or at the end. And after that, I'm going to introduce to you a plugin that I've been using for noise reduction. It's called Neat Video. And I love it because it gives fantastic results. And I'm also going to do a comparison between Neat Video and DaVinci Resolve's own noise reduction. So let's get into the video. Alright, so I have my clip here loaded up in the color tab. And this is a night scene shot on a Sony a7 IV. So naturally, it's quite noisy. And I also did a bit of brightening up to the scene to enhance the noise in case you guys can't see it on YouTube. So let's see how we can tackle it. But before that, let me show you around my note tree. So I have neat video here and noise reduction from Da Vinci. And I have this brighten note to enhance the noise a bit. And also a qualifier, which I will reveal to you guys why I put a qualifier in this simple note tree. And then of course a CST going from Sony S-Log3 into Rec. 709. And after that, I have my neat video at the back at the end of the note tree and also Da Vinci's noise reduction at the end. So we are going to test whether we should do it in front or at the back. So let's go into our noise reduction node and into our motion effects panel. So there's temporal noise reduction and also spatial noise reduction. So temporal noise reduction basically analyzes frames in a clip to determine how much noise it wants to reduce. And I try to stay away from temporal noise reduction because it gives very too much motion, too much blur when the subject or anything in the frame is moving. So I'm going to go into spatial noise reduction and mode, I have set it to better, always go with better and radius is small. And then I have set my spatial threshold, luma and chroma to 50%. And that's how I reduce noise in with the tools in Da Vinci. And now you can see a lot of noise. And when I remove it, you see that it's smoothened out. Let me play this back. And it looks pretty okay. But if you notice, it's a bit blotchy around these areas. So this is if I put the noise reduction in front of the node tree. I'm seeing some blotchy results over here. So let's try it at the back. It's exactly the same setting, but I'm just copying it at the back. And it's so much smoother. So the logic behind putting noise reduction in the beginning of your note tree is as if there were no noise while you were shooting on set in your camera. And it kind of makes sense to be honest, but practically as I tested, it doesn't really give me good results. So I'd rather put it at the end of your note tree where you just slightly soften out everything to polish your finished look. So let's do another test, which is a qualifier test. So there's this theory, if you put noise reduction in the beginning of your note tree, you get cleaner qualifiers. So let's have a look. If I turn on my noise reduction in front, and I turn on the highlight mode to my qualifier where I already qualified his skin. You can see that, yeah, the qualifier is looking pretty good. If I turn it off, it's a bit more blotchy. I hope you guys can see this. Now it's with off and when I turn it on, it's smoother. So the thing about this is, yes, in this case, it does make sense to do the noise reduction in front. But what you can also do without disrupting your whole timeline with a noise reduction in front is by using the qualifier and going into your matte finesse and denoising it. So it gives almost the same result. I can even say maybe a little bit better. And you can also add a bit of blur radius. And you get a very smooth qualifying without putting noise reduction in front, which totally disrupts your whole note tree from the beginning itself. So to answer the question whether you should put your note tree in front or at the back, personally, after doing my test, I would rather just put it at the back. So now let's have a look at the noise reduction plugin, which is Neat Video. So you can find Neat Video in your effects tab and going down to Neat Video folder, reduce noise. And you just have to click here, which is prepare noise profile. 
and it will come up with a tab like this and the easiest way that you can use this is to turn on auto profile it will select a blank area for you to analyze the noise so the noise level here is 1.7 and you might want to remember that value because we are going to touch on it later and all you have to do later is to apply and what you get is perfectly reduced noise yes so let's also test if we should use neat video in front of the note tree or at the back so i'm going to turn this off and do the same thing at the back which is prepare noise profile auto profile and it gives a value of 3 so the reason why the noise level at the back of the note tree let me just apply this first so the value we have over here is 3 and the value we have in front is 1.7 and the reason behind that is because if I turn on my highlight mode to see what the note is inputting if I'm doing it in the front the note is basically seeing this which is our log footage and it can't really detect much noise from a log footage but if I'm doing it at the back, the neat video is analyzing noise from my Rec 709 because I've converted it in the CST. So the value is higher. But is the result different? No. The result from neat video, if you put it in front and the back, it's exactly the same. So whether to put neat video in front or at the back, we have to do a qualifier test. And I'm going to go to another video that I have over here. So I have a qualifier here which I push quite a bit of pink into it so that you can see it more obvious. And I'm going to turn on neat video in front. And what you see is that it gives blotches like this. Very weird blotches like this. Comparing it to Da Vinci's noise reduction, it's less. But if I'm using neat video in front, it's very significant blotches in the qualifying and if I play it back, you can see that it's very weird. So this is what I meant by a destructive workflow. And let me turn off neat video in front and let's go to the back. And we can see that it's much nicer even though the noise is reduced, the qualifying is smoother because I'm putting it at the back so it smoothens out everything instead of getting blotches like this in front of the video. So whether to put neat video in front or at the back, the noise reduction results are basically the same. But if you're using a qualifier or anything, I would still suggest you putting it at the back. So whether you're using neat video or Da Vinci's noise reduction, I would still recommend you to put it at the back of your note tree. Alright, now let me turn the qualifier off and we are going to go to a frame that I've selected here. So in this case, we want to reduce noise but also keep the maximum amount of details we can for these kind of shots. So we don't want it to look too blurry when we are reducing noise. So in this case, you definitely want to stay away from temporal noise reduction. So let me turn the noise reduction on and show you how bad it is if you're using something like a temporal noise reduction. So if I turn this on and off, you lose tons of details, especially on the flare over here. You can see that it softened up so much and your DP is going to kill you. <laughs> so what we want to do is let me reset the temporal. And I'm going to use this frame to show you how much details you can protect while using neat video compared to DaVinci Resolve. And let's grab a still from here and turn on neat video. I'm going to just quickly do a noise profile, auto profile. And it's a noise level of 8.1 which is pretty high. But you can see that it still protects all the details. Apply and I'm going to swipe. So on my left here is neat video and on the right is Da Vinci. Let's zoom in a bit more first. And I'm going to go to this, this grass over here. I think this is a very good example. So this is where my thing is. And this is neat video. This is Da Vinci. Neat video, Da Vinci. I'm not quite sure if you can see a difference, but to my eyes, I'm seeing quite a bit more 
details using neat video basically you still can get a very good result but if you focus in on the grass up here okay this is neat video this is da vinci it's a lot more mushy with da vinci's noise reduction so that's where neat video comes in as a pretty good plugin which analyzes your frame and there's also another factor that you might want to consider when doing noise reduction is that if you scale up your footage or if you're delivering for let's say 6k 8k the noise is gonna appear much much clearer than what i am in right now which is 1080p hd but if you're delivering to a lower resolution then noise doesn't really matter that much because recently i had a client that wanted to deliver in 8k and the noise was very apparent in that video so yeah i really like neat video because you can customize the profile of noise reduction that you're gonna do and there's a lot of tools where you can brighten up the image to see more noise or you can also see your red green and blue channels and this is an enhanced contrast so you can see what kind of details that you are protecting and you can also adjust and preview where you can select an area that you want to see where the noise is reduced compared to where the noise is so yeah i really recommend this tool if you want easy and professional looking noise reduction and you can use the link in my description it helps out the channel and that's it for this video guys see you in the next one bye bye